Welcome to the Duda Experts Education Series, brought to you by the Duda Solutions Partners here at Fixate Media. Today we're going to be discussing the Duda blog and how to work with it. Of course, make sure you're logged into your site and in the editor first. Take a look over at the left bar and navigate down until you see blog. Clicking on blog will slide out all of your blog options and we're going to take them top down. Beginning at the very top, you have the button that allows you to create a new post and simply clicking on that button allows you to name the post, determine the author of the post, as well as if the post is going to have an image or a main image. Our next option is to manage all posts and that begins by searching the title or author we have a drop-down filter which will show all posts, published posts, or drafts. And then we have, right here in this example, three actual published posts. Clicking the pencil will allow you to edit the post. So if I click that, it actually takes me right into the post. And down here, we click and we edit just like we edit on any other page, including the ability to add widgets and all sorts of things to your blog posts. Clicking on the gear will take you into that post's blog settings, which are going to include the blog URL, the publish date, which you can change, the ability to unpublish posts or publish them, and in this case, republish once they've already been published. Scrolling down, we have all the post details, including the post title and author, our main image. Next up, we have our post SEO settings. So again, a specific meta title for your blog post. The blog thumbnail, if you utilize thumbnails to lead to your blogs. Alt text for the thumbnails. An SEO description, as well as the ability to add tags to further filter your posts on different pages. And finally, the option to set your post to not be indexed or not be found by search engines if that use case presents itself. Our next option is blog settings and here is where we would define the actual blog name as well as title and description and create an RSS feed which can connect your blog to other services such as email delivery providers to automate email sends. Next up we have the edit layout option. In the Duda blog, all blogs are going to carry the same layout, and that is what is gen generally preferred for improved SEO and what's preferred by search engines. Clicking Got It will take you into that post. In this case, you can see we have a banner image, we have a title, author and date, our content that the client would edit is here, we've got social sharing options, as well as a commenting widget. So, if I go and I take a look at, again, any one of these blogs, you're going to see all those elements. A banner, a title, author and date, content, the content you would edit, there's our social sharing options, and there's our commenting widget. So, if I decided that I no longer wish to have the commenting widget or the social options, I would go to those widgets and simply delete them or go to the row itself and simply delete the row. That change alone will have now updated all of the blogs, including all of the ones that are published, to now just have the remaining elements. Again, going back into the blog and clicking now on a different blog will show you that if you scroll down through the content, we now no longer have the social sharing or the commenting. Our last option in the blog is to import posts and in certain circumstances you can import up to 300 posts from other websites or other blogs um, and there is more details that can be accessed here if you want to attempt that in your site. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks from the Fixate Dude Experts.